Want to learn how to sketch? Keep watching. Hello everyone and welcome to Make with Ajay. And in this quick sketching tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how I made this really beautiful looking strawberry. First, let's start with the materials that I used. First and foremost, this is a mechanical pencil of 0.5 mm lead. You can use either 2B or HB lead along with it. It's really useful for those very fine details. Along with that, I'll also be using these graphite pencils in 2B and 6B for lighter and darker shade. I'll also be using these paper stumps. They are really good for those smooth blending. I'll also use this normal Stedler eraser and some dry paint brushes again for blending. And a very special tool that I'll be using is this Dombo Mono Zero eraser. It's nothing but just like a mechanical pencil, but instead of lead, it has this really fine eraser that you can use to create those really fine white details. So let's begin with our sketching. I'll first be using my mechanical pencil in HB 0.5 mm lead to draw a rough shape of the strawberry. You don't have to be exactly similar to what I'm drawing over here because in nature there's no exact shape. Just don't be too rigid with the shape and keep your drawing really light at this state. Also, I'm using a normal sketching paper to draw this on. In the next step, I'll be using this 2B pencil to fill in the shape of the strawberry so that I may create a base shade. Now I'm gonna blend this shade using a soft synthetic watercolor brush. Okay, now I'll grab my 6B graphite pencil and add some darker shades on all three sides of the strawberry. I'll also add some darker shade here on this upper part. And I'll try and keep my shades as even as possible so that it may result in a smooth blending. And now it's time to blend those shades with a dry brush. And now I'll use the 0.5 mm mechanical pencil to remove the textures in the shade. I love shading with mechanical pencil because you don't have to blend the shades. They are already very smooth and perfect. And then I'll use the same mechanical pencil to add these small circles in the middle portion of the strawberry. And as you reach near the edge of the strawberry, these circles will get smaller and will almost become like a dot. And now I'll use this darker shade 6B pencil to darken these circles and dots. I'm using a paper to keep underneath my hand so that the drawing underneath may not get smudged. Thank you. 
And now I'll grab the lighter shade 2B pencil and add some shades around each circle. And now I'll blend these circles using this small paper stump. And now I'll grab the Tombow Mono Zero Eraser to add some highlights between the circles and the dots. Be careful while doing that, you need to erase more where you need to show more shine and less where you need to show less shine. In the central area, you have to make the highlights more prominent than the corners or sides. In order to do that, I'm creating highlights all around the circles and when it comes to the dot, I'm creating the highlights only towards the side. And then I just used a dry brush to blend everything in the corners and I kept coming back with the eraser to make the highlights look as realistic as possible. And then I used the same eraser to add some highlights in these individual seats as well. Now I'll just use this normal non-dust eraser to erase these extra shades all around the strawberry and make the entire shape a bit more clear. And now it's time to give some shadows, for which I'll be using the 2B and the 6B pencil in combination with each other. I'll first blend with the 2B pencil and then I'll darker that area with the 6B pencil. I'll be using the same technique underneath the strawberry to create a shadow. I'll use first the 2B pencil to create a lighter shade and then 6B pencil to create a darker shade and then I'll blend both of them together with a dry brush. I'll also use a paper stump to make the blending a bit smoother. Moving on to the leaves, first I'll have to fill the leaves with shades using 2B and 6B pencil and then I'll blend them together using my paper stump. As a general rule, just keep in mind that the shades near the strawberry will be a bit darker than all the other shades because they also come under the shadow. I'll grab a Mono Zero eraser and add some random white lines in each leaf to create those teeny tiny veins. After erasing the lines, I kept coming back with my pencil and the brush for blending to make the leaves look perfect. I also defined the shape of the leaves better by erasing the shades around them. And now I'll just keep touching up the drawing as much as I feel it's needed and will try and make the highlights a bit more smoother and remove any random lines. You can keep touching up your drawing as much as you like cause there's really no end to the perfection. It all depends upon how much time do you want to spend on your drawing.
the more time you spend the more perfect it will get but at this stage of touch up i felt like my drawing was complete and here's the final reveal <laughs> I hope you liked this tutorial as much as I enjoyed creating the sketch. It's always so nice to go back to the basics. If you want to see more such tutorials then please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell notification icon so that you may get notified about more such future videos. I make videos every week and they are all free. Please do comment down below and let me know what would you like to learn next and share this video with your friends. And with this, as I always say, we are going to make this world beautiful one thing at a time. Thank you so very much for watching guys. I'll see you all later. Bye.